Canada is a beautiful country. It brings a lot of opportunities to you um, that helps you improve on your career or personal life as an immigrant. However, the number of immigrants living in Canada has increased significantly for various reasons. So many of them are already permanent residents or Canadian citizens. So don't think they are like students or on temporary um, permits. So if you are a newcomer planning to come to Canada, this video can help you um, have the correct mindset and be aware of realistic expectation when you arrive in Canada. Number one reason why people are leaving Canada is building wealth is hard. Unlike other Western countries, particularly in the US, it's really hard to become wealthy in Canada. Uh, when I mean wealthy, it's really hard to, you know, skate through like 200,000 and more as annual income. Um, one of the reasons is taxes are higher in Canada than the UK or the US or even Australia. So Canada tries at redistributing their wealth and making sure everyone is at the same income level. It favors low income earners a lot because they get to enjoy government benefits this demotivate people from working hard to um, become better version of themselves so for most immigrants they work really hard and succeed in their profession when they get to the high income bracket where they have to pay almost 50 percent of their income in taxes it gets frustrating and so they decide to leave canada uh, so that's why canada really struggled to keep doctors or nurses because this i pay jobs you know you have to pay so much taxes in it number two reason people are living in Canada is because of the high cost of living after paying so much in taxes you spend what is left of your income on bills to have a good life expensive houses our insurance costs iPhone B internet B food and a lot more so the average cost of renting a single room apartment in Toronto is about two thousand dollars a month the average salary of Canadians is about fifty thousand per year so it's insane that they are spending over 30,000 of your income already on rent. So this is another reason why people are leaving Canada. The third reason is boredom and loneliness. Most immigrants have been seen to encounter their first depression once they move to Canada, like other Western countries. Canada can get very boring and lonely. Um, this isn't so much to do with Canada, even in big cities and busy you know, areas. So even though Canadians are considered nice people, People really interact with one another. It's really hard to make friends and build long lasting connections. So immigrants that are used to having people friendly culture, family oriented relationship like friends and neighbors, they miss out of this lifestyle and just decide to leave Canada. The fourth reason people are leaving Canada is because it is cold. So the trend will be incompetent if you don't mention the harsh weather condition in Canada. Summer barely lasts for like three months and the rest of the year you are cold. Cold. Is the weather unbearable? Absolutely not. But it is very sad and depressing. Imagine having to go to work on a cold morning at 6 a.m. when it is like pitch black because sunrise during winter is like 7 a.m. To survive job that doesn't even care if you are a minute late. There's something called winter depression and it's unexplainable. You have to witness it yourself to fully grasp what it's like. As most people age they just can't deal with the cold anymore i would rather move somewhere else that is much warmer number five reason people are leaving canada is getting professional jobs i think it's insane that canada encourages skilled workers to immigrate to canada to start a new life only to not consider them professional enough to get into the professional workforce based on their skills so most people have to start all over from scratch in their career so it's even worse for healthcare workers like doctors, nurses, they spend several years trying to get licensed to practice while managing with ridiculous jobs like support worker, Uber driver, keep the dishes driver. It's very sad to leave your home country as a medical doctor just to become someone else's food delivery guy. What about for other professions like engineers? So they start off their careers with just anything to pay the bills because uh, they can't land their first Canadian job without having Canadian experience or certification. 
qualifications. So how do I get Canadian experience if you don't hire me? Um, how are you saying I don't have transferable skills after migrating here as a skilled worker? You know, some people just get fed up and move to another country with higher paying jobs. Number six reason is the overwhelm healthcare. Although public healthcare is free in Canada, it does not cover everything. Remember that it is your responsibility to purchase any prescription drugs unless you have your employer you know paying for it another intriguing fact is that in canada it's typical to see the nurse first and the doctor later depending on your situation so for example if you are ill, your doctor will see you for 10 minutes before writing you a prescription to address your medical problem moreover there are long wait time for a getting medical appointment even if you have to go to an emergency room you know you can be there for up to three to four hours you know of waiting and sometimes i have been there for like up to eight hours without seeing a doctor and later the doctor came so other reason people are leaving canada is the age when they get their canadian passport and there is no work-life balance you just keep walking and walking and walking so you need to rethink about choosing a place to settle down in canada canada may seem amazing the salary is high but not all the time are things as glorious as you expect them to be we hope our viewers are well informed after this video through the uh, comprehensive list of challenges canadians face on a day-to-day -day basis so picking where you live can greatly affect how you feel um picking um you know your location is going to affect your income how much you spend and you know how social it is so if you really want a place that is very sociable you can look into vancouver toronto and you know saskatchewan some of those locations have a good community but um, when you look into bigger cities, you might be spending way more for rent, for food, and so on and so forth, although the jobs might be there. So you really need to pick your battle because um, if you want to look into cities like uh, bigger cities, it might be really hard for you to buy houses there because the prices are so high. But if you are looking into like coming to Canada as a family, with your family, you might want to look into not too small and not too big cities like maybe Edmonton, Calgary, you know, a few places, Halifax, that you can at least purchase a property within like two or three years because prices there are not too bad. But if you want to look into big cities, you have to work a lot, save a lot of money to be able to buy a property. Like it's not like buying a property is a priority, but you want to keep your standard of living as low as possible so you can save money for your future. Don't be the immigrant that come into Canada to live from paycheck to paycheck. So don't be that immigrant that come into Canada. You haven't even saved up to $10,000 and you have been in Canada for 10 years. Um, I don't know how people do that but i think that immigrants are hard workers we although we have things to spend money on but i advise people around me make sure you're saving your money and we want to make sure that immigrants are doing well even in canada okay i really wish that more immigrants can be able to be successful out there so i'm really hopeful that this video is it's helpful to you when you think about coming to canada and when you think about why people are leaving canada do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in another video bye guys